Mexico, by the way, is doing nothing for us. Nothing. They have the strongest immigration laws. They can do whatever they want. They can keep people out of Mexico. They have a 2,000-mile journey up Mexico. They walk through Mexico like it's walking through Central Park. It's ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? When the president lies to you. Mr. President, a migrant's journey is far, far, far from a walk in the park. So for fact's sake, let's look at what it really takes. Every journey begins somewhere, and millions of United States residents come from the so-called Northern Triangle in Central America. That is El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. The three countries rank among the most violent in the world. Gang violence, extortion, and political corruption run rampant. It is enough to force someone to uproot their entire life and make the dangerous journey to a foreign country with simply the clothes on their back. And we're not talking about a short walk to the border. For instance, the so-called migrant caravan that infuriated the president earlier this year traveled more than 3,000 miles. The trip is long and difficult, so many migrants rely on smugglers to help them along the way. But as then Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly bragged last year, smugglers' fees have skyrocketed. In some regions, it can cost as much as 8,000 bucks. Why? Because this journey is dangerous. Many migrants face extortion, gang violence, and sexual assault. The Missing Migrant Project reports more than 600 people died or went missing while traveling to the border from the Caribbean and Central America just last year. And that is just the people that we know about. With me now, MSNBC's Jacob Sobroff, who has been on the front lines of this crisis since the beginning. Take a listen. This is all about questions. This entire thing has been about asking questions. Where are the toddlers? Where are the girls? What happens to the kids today that are in uh, the Border Patrol facility? If the president took the time to read his own DEA reports, he would know that spillover violence is not a thing. The sickening images and feelings uh, that many of us felt over the course of the last week or so uh, haven't gone away, and we should remember that. When you hear the president say uh, it's like a walk in Central Park, you've been to Central Park, and you've also been yeah. to the border. It's not like Central Park, I promise you that. And uh, it, like you said, you just, you just hit the nail on the head. It's one of the most dangerous journeys anybody could make anywhere in the world um, through, again, one of the most dangerous countries ultimately anywhere in the world with Mexico. Tijuana uh, was the most violent city in Mexico where the migrant caravan went. Six people were murdered a day uh, in Tijuana. So as all this, all this played out over the last six days, it didn't happen in a vacuum. And people are still trying to cross into this country every single day. Once they get here, it's just as dangerous for these migrants to try to cross into the country. And actually, we have the Stateline special coming up this week about what we saw over the last six days, but also just what life along the border is really like. And I, I want to show you a little bit of, once you get through the border, uh, what it's like for a migrant to try and get into this country. Take a look at this. We're west of Aravaca, and uh, we're with the Border Patrol that's in pursuit of two people that they've spotted up on the mountain ridge uh, in this area. And uh, the reason we're shooting in night vision is we've got to maintain a low profile as we get out here to hike up into the mountains in pursuit. intense. I'm pretty winded already. These guys just don't stop. They're out here searching for the migrants up in the hills. They could be smugglers. They could be mules. We don't know. And they could be armed. As the Border Patrol's elite flex team sprinted way out ahead of us, a helicopter joined the chase. It was like that right there. That's, that's the flex team with the bodies. Do they have them? So, you know, you don't make that journey and try to outrun the Border Patrol uh, if you think it's like walking around the Central Park Reservoir. Uh, it is one of the truly the most dangerous things you can do. And uh, if you're not a smuggler or a mule or somebody engaged in illicit activity, you could very well die. In fact, it's not just those 600 people last year. Something like 700, uh, 7,000 people, rather, have died since the current sort of iteration of Border Patrol's uh, strategy has been put into place. President Trump claims that Mexico makes it easier for them. Yes, yeah, not true. I mean, look, I think... Otherwise known as he's lying. Uh, I, I, think that, I think that Mexico certainly should be a partner in all of this, and diplomacy is part of it. But this is a president that it doesn't seem to be particularly fond uh, in engaging in diplomacy with Mexico. Uh, in fact, it seems like it's one of its biggest nemesis sees. I want to thank you. Jacob, the work that you have done on this, especially in the last week, couldn't be more important. The president can say all day long, don't pay attention, it's fake news. And you have been there. We have gotten to see you every day for the last week on the border telling these stories. 
It is a, it's a privilege to get to work with you and to see this reporting every day. Thank you for doing this. You were here too, and I, I just want to say quickly, it, it's it, what I witnessed inside that facility is something that you never expect in your life that you would see in the United States of America, little children sitting in cages on the floor under blankets and on mattresses, and uh, it was disgusting. And uh, everybody should just remember what we experienced over the course of the past week. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.